that's a bit. Um, in this, uh, you guys, you guys spoke quite a lot about your first class record and your experience in in, in first class cricket. Did, did this test match show just how big the gap is between test cricket and first class cricket? Um, hi, Stewie. Uh, yeah, if I were brutally honest, um, I think it showed quite a few things. Um, there's obviously got to take in factor in the nervous tensions, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, that goes with um, debuting for a lot of players, and then obviously the nerves that a test match brings. But um, yeah, look, I, I think the the divide is is great. Um, so if I were to answer you bluntly, I'd say yes. assessment from the players' perspective about how they felt that, that match went for them and, and the areas that they, that they learned lessons? Um, look, I think it goes without saying also that the relentless pressure that a bowling attack um, puts on you at this level, they don't bowl better away swingers and better in swingers and better bounces, they just bowl less bad balls. And, and similarly, from, from a batting perspective, as soon as you err, uh, whether it be on line or length, you get punished. So I think those were the harsh learnings for, for our guys. Um, uh, but having said all of that, uh, I, I did expect the boulder showing, especially on the batting side, um, where I felt we let ourselves down quite a bit. Thanks, Stu. Um, who would like to take the next one? Just a reminder to raise your hand. Uh, go ahead, Telford. Thanks, Lucy. How's it going? Um, I, I wonder how, how how are the guys doing mentally? You know, they they were pumped. There was an expectation that they that they were up against a better team, and and, and that turned out to be the case. Uh, you know, and how are they doing mentally, considering they were going to do it all again in a couple of days? Um, look, we'll only really see. <laughs> For now, they're fine. You know, we 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 didn't do too much of a debrief yesterday. We've had. Obviously, three days or well, four days of uh, really hard grind, and we we put a lot of practice in prior to the match. So I didn't want to do too much of a debrief after the day's play. So we we basically left the guys to their own devices a day off today. Guys either went up the mount, beaching, golfing, whatever they did. Um, we we go to Auckland tomorrow, but. Um, I think the, the real test will, will come when we step out on the field again in a few days' time, you know. But uh, for now, they're in, they're in decent spirits. Um, but obviously, a few of them would have uh, taken a bit of a knock um, in terms of the harsh realities that test cricket brings um, and possibly how far away they, they probably still are. Um, I think many th feel that they're closer to the test side than, than they currently are and then and then you you go through a few days like they have been and that um, is a little jolt and a, and a little wake-up call as well. Thanks, Telford. For those? Thanks, Lucy. Uh, hi, Sir Christoph. So I just want to ask you about three guys specifically um, in relation to what you just mentioned about being far away. So Neil Neil Brand was obviously quite keen on maybe uh, stepping into Dean Elgar's shoes, and I'd like to know kind of how he experienced captaincy, and obviously he bowled pretty well. But then also uh, Zubair Hamza and Keegan Peterson, I would guess they'd be the closest batters, you know, to stepping in, and obviously KP's been there before. Um, are they still, from what you've seen, you know, how far away are they? I think, uh, look, when you look at KP and, 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 and Zubi, Branty didn't get out of the blocks uh, at all this test match. Um, I think the first first innings dismissal, I mean, it was just lethargic. He spent a lot of overs and uh, a lot of hours bowling and, yeah, just two days took its toll. Um, but uh, uh, we'd be expecting a lot from Zubi, KP and, and, and Bedders, you know, uh, if the truth be told, because they are uh, the guys with a few test matches under the belt. They probably have been around a bit longer than others. Um, so, yes, we'd be expecting a bit more from, from the KPs and Zubi. KP played really well yesterday. I thought he really played well yesterday and in the first dig. Um, but playing well has got to start um, playing itself out into runs scored as well, you know. So, um, yeah, they're still there and thereabouts, obviously. Um, Zubi came in as a replacement uh, 
in the last test match in Cape Town came into the squad. So those are the guys that are either in the squads or on the fringes. Thanks for that. Percival? Um, um, coach. Listen, I'm, I'm willing to wait until the end to ask an African question or two for the coach. If you want, if you want. We, uh, we'll speak to Africans and New Zealand. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, thanks, thanks. Uh, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll um, hold you for the end of the, the, the media off and then we'll go ahead uh, with Ungama. Thank you, man. Um, thanks, Lucy. Hi, coach. Hello, Ungama. Um, we, yeah, so, so most of these guys. Um, especially the deputants, you're Eddie Morrison. It's, it's guys that we've seen domestically, and some of the dismissals that we watched in this test match were so uncharacteristic. You know, it's, it's, it's nothing that we've seen from them before. You know, um, and uh, I'm, I'm just interested, Coach, in terms of finding out how, how, do, you, how do you as a coach um, intervene and, and, and then just, just to make sure that these guys come the second test, they are, they are more ready, they are, they are more calm, and they can go out there and express themselves. How do you um, lend a helping hand in this, in this situation? Yeah, look, I mean, pressure does a lot of things to you. Eh? you, you you've got all these game plans and, you, and you've prepped and you've done everything. And then the harsh reality strikes. Um, as coaches, we, we obviously try and bring clarity. We try and keep them as calm and we try and simplify things. I think very often guys come at this level and they feel that there's silver bullets need to be landing from all over. And where, in fact, all you do is you simplify matters. Um, so, again, like I said earlier, um, guys will have a couple of days off and then when we get to Auckland, we'll, we'll get, gather as a, as, a, as a group and talk through um, the batting especially. I think we did, we did rather nicely on the bowling front um, for the stocks that we've got. Um, but the batting, yeah, I think we've just got to keep guys calm, try and bring clarity. Um, and it's easy to say to go out and, and back yourself. Um, but when your every move is being magnified and your technique is being cut to shreds <laughs> on, on TV and elsewhere, then, um, and this is what the harsh realities of test cricket is, and, and this is what players are going to have to deal with. But they'll be better for the experience. They'll be better for the run under their belt. Um, and, and I'm sure we'll see an improved performance in Auckland. Or oh, Hamilton, if sorry. If I, can go, if I can follow up on that, Lucy. Um, coach... I mean, um, these guys, um, your, 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 your Eddie, as you, as you mentioned, do we, do we look at this performance and, and start questioning um, the, the, the strength of, of, the, of our domestic cricket? Because the same structure produced your Tony Kizorzi, who went against um, um, West Indies and India, performed well against um, those, two, those two sides. Do we start um, questioning the domestic structure, or is it more of a, of a mental thing that, that we saw um, in New Zealand? I think we always will not question our domestic structure because, you're, like you rightly say, we produce really good cricketers. Um, I think when a Tony DeZorzi walks in to make his debut, he walks in after Aidan Markram and Dean Algo have got however many tests um, behind their name and then Temba Babuma walks in at four. And you've got uh, whoever walked batting at five. So it's a, you walk into the side and there's lots of experience at test level um, when he walked out to bat the other day he walked out with somebody who was also making his his debut right and at three was also someone making his debut so i wouldn't read and 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 go shredding our, our, our first class game yes we there are areas where it can improve but i think we've got to uh, provide context here um, that all of these guys are inexperienced at this level and first-class cricket, yes, they've got heaps of first-class experience. They don't have any test match experience. And there's a massive divide between test or, 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 or massive gap between test cricket and first-class cricket anywhere in the world, not only in South Africa. Thanks, Ongama. We're going to look to take um, another one from Fado, Talford, and then uh, Tim Russell. Uh, just, just from a bigger picture perspective, um, how do you feel the, the New Zealand uh, public and, and media and team have, have received you guys? And, and also, I mean, you know, yeah, they might be top of the, of the championship now, but you know what fixtures you've got coming up in the next year. Um, you know, does this feel like the end of the world or, or does it feel like, you know, it's kind of okay? No, it's not okay. Um, it's tough. It's tough. It's tough for, for everyone here. 
Um, obviously, we'll, we'll, we'll keep getting behind the guys and we'll, we'll, we'll give our, our everything. But it's really tough walking in. It's like Burnley <laughs> going to Anfield every week, you know. Um, if it was a T20 game, you know one performance can win a game for you. A uh, 50 over game, a, a great spell with the new ball. It's five days uh, of cricket where it is relentless, the pressure, and you've got to be on top of your game all the time against the quality side, like New Zealand especially. Um, and we've been, we've been received really well. Uh, it's been great preparation. The people have been fantastic. And I think New Zealand showed us the greatest respect by going in, into bat a second time, you know, because that's what they would have done if they were playing Australia or England or uh, a, a, a full-strength South African side. So from that front, they, they, they certainly haven't um, patronized us, if that's the right word, in any way by, by playing it differently. You see how Kane Williamson goes about his business. Um, and they've paid us uh, all the respect in the world by playing the way they do, and, and they're certainly treating it as, a, as, a, as, a, as, as test cricket where they can get points, but they still need to be doing all their processes properly as well. Thanks for those. Talton? Shukri spoke earlier about the difference between first class and test cricket being, you know, the, the absence of bad balls um, at, at this level. And I just wondered, that, how does that apply to, to captaincy? What's the difference, you know, between captaining at first class level and, and at this level? And how do you think Neil Brown fits as a, as a captain? I thought Brunty did really well. Um, Manoeuvring, uh, our bowlers around. We, look, the, these are the four bowlers that we had, the four quicks and, and him. Um, and it's not easy to to manage four inexperienced quick. Well, um, Pato obviously brings a bit more experience um, to manage. And I thought, he, I thought he captained really well. I really thought he captained really well. Um, we take our chances on day one. Yeah, you know, you, you like I said, you're going to like Burnley going to Anfield and you know you're going to have to to live on, on the breadcrumbs and every now and again when a slice comes around you've got to grab it with both hands and we didn't um, and that first day could have been slightly different and the longer we have them in the field batting and then we bat properly the more chances there were for Burnley to scrap something out of the game because that's pretty much how you, how you set up um, but to answer your question I thought Brunty captain really well and obviously Weighed on him, having had to bowl as many overs as he did. And, um, yeah, that took its toll. But, yeah, full marks to him. Thanks, Talford. Uh, can you still? Then we're going to go over here and then back with Percival. Uh, thank you very much, Lucy. Um, good morning from this side. Shooks and good evening, that side. Um, just a little bit, it's still pretty much early after the test match wash up. But are there any changes that you may have in mind for the second test? Um, yeah, we're going to obviously have to look at um, not only the conditions, but potentially where, where else we can challenge the New Zealand batters. Um, I don't want to lose any of our batting. Um, I think that's the, that's the only way we're going to get something out of the test match. We, we have to bat really well. We've got to have as many batters as we can and try and take the game as, as deep as we can and, as, and maybe force New Zealand into to, to Taking a making a rash decision, um, but we, we're going to have to look at um, from a bowling attack possibly how else we can challenge them. Um, in this past Test match, um, we thought the wicket would be a bit quicker than it was. We thought it would do a little bit more. Even New Zealand was surprised. Um, so we basically only had the little window with the new ball where we where we could attack them, you know. Um, and I've got to put my my thinking cap on together with the other coaches and try and look at other ways where we possibly can challenge them. Um, so, yeah, I'm expecting maybe one or two changes, yes, um, to see how else we can get something out of, out of the next test. Thanks. Can you still uh, be here? Hi, this is uh, You kind of answered a little bit there, but um, you spoke about four quicks that you have. Um, obviously, that's what you have, um, but that's... 10k slower than the other side. Is it? Does it not become a situation again? What you sort of spoke about earlier, like we got to find different ways to to get wickets. And and we've seen in the past in New Zealand where 
someone like the past touch winner like JP Kevs, they they've actually done very well in Bolton. You know, is that is it not a maybe a, a way to go where you change things up dramatically because of what you actually have at your disposal? Yeah, I yeah, could do. Um, again, I think it, context is I um, JP and Kesha. Um, or JP becomes an effective part-time bowler if he bowls after KG or Dale or Vernon or, or someone. Um, so we've got to provide context all the time. And, and again, I say, I thought, oh, let's call them seamers for, um, and rather not quicks. Let, uh, our four seamers did a region, reasonable job on day one um, and into day two. That was always how we were going to set up. You know, we, we wanted to just manage the run rate. We were never looking to, and this might sound terrible, but we were realistic enough to know that you're not going to knock New Zealand over, so you've got to drag the game. So if you drag the game with a bowling side and they don't bat at a decent rate, and you can then drag the game by batting well, you can possibly go deep into day five, and who knows, you know. Um, but you're right, um, and I can, I can... Yeah, I can almost assure you that there will be a couple of changes because we need to challenge them in other ways. Yes, the new ball, we must challenge them. And um, if it means we've, we've then got to challenge them on the spin front, um, that's something we need to talk through. But it's, it's definitely a consideration. Thanks, uh, Zahir. We're going to look to conclude uh, with the um, Afrikaans question from uh, Percival. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Good evening, Coach. Coach, I think you're going to be a good example of the product of the staff. You're going to be a good example of Liverpool, but to Emirates. But that's a conversation for another day, though. So, can I ask you a question, Coach? Say, your players, your whole group of players, are in the deep can go. I expect you, as a player in the Kielders, that these players can swim in so a gedicht in New Zealand. I think, in the end, as you say, in a, in a toots, uh, income, is daar verwachting dat jy, uh, miskien nie, al die, die swim strokes kan doen nie, maar, <laughs> dalk kan doggy paddle vir een geruime tyd, so dat jy nie verdrink nie. Um, so, uh, ja, hulle is in die diepkant ingegooi, maar aan die einde van die dag, is de groot geleentheid vir funny spelers, om hulle hand op te steek, en ook als een groep, um, terug te gaan, naar die eerste klas, um, systeem en, en die rest van die oukies wees maak wat het eindelijk by hals om toetskrieke te speel. Um, maar ja, om weer eens om die, om die vraag te beantwoord, dit is maar een sink of swim um, situasie. First of all, before you go for the next uh, before you go for your next question, I see for those has asked in the uh, comment section just uh, if you could uh, translate that uh, response. Sure. Asking a lot of me, we're trying to <laughs> I think I think the the, the 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 translation pretty much goes yes it is almost a, a sink or swim situation but in the in in the being thrown in at the deep deep end they always lie an opportunity for a player to put up their hand or his hand um, to make a play to put his name out there to be considered going forward and then as a group to if if nothing else to go back to our first class game um, and then pretty much spread the gospel in terms of what the requirements are and what their experiences were. So hopefully in that way we can um, uplift the, the standard a bit more and uh, not create expectation at every turn when someone gets a, a five wicket haul at domestic level or scores 100. Thanks. Uh, Percival, one more from you. Thank you so much, Lucy. Coach, at last ons, um, you have spoken in English that it is never good for a toetsenige toetswedstrijd to, 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 to for the glory of any national span. But as africhter, have you any sleepless nights before the for, uh, for next toets in Auckland? And what are you benadering, your junior fans benadering on which side of the toets? Um, so as I said to the men yesterday, the Proteus had yesterday lost. I see a, a other span that has lost. And sleepless nights, yeah, this goes only to part with, with, with the job, so to, so to say. En ja, ik ga een slapeloze nacht hee, want ik vat, ik neem uh, die job bij ernstig en, en, en ook die rest van ons um, africhtingsgroep. So ons spandeer telkeloze oomlikke om, om te bespreek hoe ons dalk ietsie uit de toets kan kry. 
Uh, en het is niet makkelijk om een verloor te vatten. Het was, het was tof gisteravond, die afgelopen vier dagen was, was eerlijk waar, baie, baie tof geweest. Um, maar ons zal een manier moeten krijgen. En ja, uh, yeah, ons zal ons thinking caps opzetten. En dan hopelijk, um, als we een paar tactische veranderingen maken, um, kan ons dat die Zeeland een beetje verder toets of meer toets als wat hulle het toets was in die afgelopen vier dagen. Thanks. Thanks, no uh, Thank you, Principal. Um, so, I do see Fani's hand is up, so we will take that as the very last question. Fani, please go ahead. Ja, yeah, uh, Shukri, ek wil net vir jou hoor, uh, het die commentaar is het klaar, het ons te veel zachte paasjes weggegooi, te veel soft wickets. Wat is jou mening daar oor? <laughs> Het is precies dit, het is zachte paalkies, het is, um, we, obviously, when, when somebody gets knocked over first or second ball, you don't have an issue with that really, but when you get in, and you then have the, the type of dismissals you have, then, then that is concerning. So I agree entirely that, and every, every now, every, at every turn we lo lost like two wickets at a time, you know. Uh, we create a little bit of a partnership, whether it be in time or runs, because time is almost like runs to us. Um, and then an in-batter gets out, and then the two overs later, the other in-batter gets out, having played another rash shot or taken a, a poor option, an option that wasn't necessary. Maar aan die einde van die dag, Fani, druk doen, slaak so goed aan manne, en vooral, as jy dan nie die... Nu erg ervaring het um, in toetskrieg het nie.